Hello, Suzanne from Suzanne Scarrow Live here. How's your day been? Is it time for you to start setting your goals for 2020? What do you have in mind at this point? What do you want to achieve in the next 12 months of your life? And what might stop you in your tracks? So there are various ways that you could suggest um, of setting those goals and working towards them. One might be a vision board. You might put together a vision board that you put up and you look at often and you feel the good feeling of it. And that, that is helpful. And another way is, you know, the, the mind movies where you can actually make a movie of those things that you want and put music to it, which adds that emotion, which is great. My seven steps are a little bit different than that. Um, what I would suggest is that, first of all, that you get really clear about what you want. And that might, you know, you might want to talk to a friend about that. You might sort of talk it through. Just sometimes hearing your own voice talking about that stuff is really helpful. Hello, Sharon and Crystal. Great to see you there. Um, hearing yourself talk about what it is will help you get clear about it. Writing it down will help you get clear about it. Just maybe start sort of journaling and, and just write and see what comes out. I really want to achieve would be the beginning and just keep writing and see what comes out. And don't let there be any filtering at that point. Let it be just an easy flow of the many, many things you want and, uh, you know, just keep that flow going and don't limit yourself in any way. Okay. So step one is get clear about what you want. Step two is to get yourself into a state of imagining how good it would feel if that thing already exists. So having that thing in your life as though it already exists, just feel the feeling. Often it helps just to kind of get into a meditative state, close your eyes, feel how good it feels as though it already exists. And then you will notice the doubts and fears coming up. And when you notice the doubts and fears coming up, that's what you tap and clear. So for those of you who don't know the tapping, there's lots of information about it on Suzanne Scarrow Live or The Key to Happiness. But tap and clear whatever it is that might stop you. It might be fear of being seen. It might be fear of failing. It could be any one of a trillion things. So we won't go into that here. But just get clear about whatever it is that might be that that would stop you. It might be a limiting belief, actually. And if it's that, again, you can identify it and tap and clear it. But often you'll need the help of a skilled practitioner to get there. So let's just recap. Step one is get clear about what you want. Step two is imagine it as though it already exists. Step three is you're figuring out as you're doing that what it is that might stop you. The yes buts that come up, the doubts and fears and worries that come up. Those are all things that you can clear. When you get clear of those, you do step four, and that is imagine again. So get into that meditative state, imagine again how it feels, and notice this time what comes up, and again tap and clear, and repeat those steps until you can go into that imagine version as though it already exists, and you can stay there without the doubt and fear and worry and limits and so on coming up. So get clear, see if you can imagine it, Notice what comes up, clear what comes up, imagine it again. Now, step five is you add an elevated emotion. Now, what the heck is an elevated emotion? That is an emotion where you're feeling high vibration, joy, freedom, love, appreciation, gratitude, ecstasy, if you want to go that far. So add that elevated emotion to your imagined version. It will be easy to do by this point. And then you have moved closer and closer to your creation. You are creating that future that you really desire. And step seven is the easiest one of all. It's just enjoy the ease and flow of allowing this into your life. You deserve it. You didn't come for the struggle. You came for the happy journey. Just choose that joy of the journey for yourself. And I'll, ch I'll check in with you again tomorrow. Take care now.